Hello and welcome. We are Umar, Ivan, and Afis, and we will be presenting frontier based exploration with Hybrid Star Planet. So, this is the conceptual design the laser scanner will be used to build the occupancy grid map. We'll do the frontier detection, frontier selection, and then apply the Hybrid Star Planet. The motion controller will use the path generated by Hybrid Star Planet to do the motion control. The leftmost image is the Optomap server. In the second image, we are detecting controls based on the free cells, and in the third image, we are detecting controls based on the obstacles. We will subtract the second image from the third image and that is how we will get the frontiers. The frontiers is just a list of points clustered together. Now the centroid is a mean of cluster and we are sorting them based on the closest or maybe the largest cluster. You can see in the animation how while moving the robot we are updating the frontiers and the centroids. Hybrid A-star is the extension of the A-star algorithm that considers continuous points in the grid map. It also considers the kinematic constraints of the robot and using the bicycle kinematic model our robot can do 9 movements in the forward direction and 3 movements in the reverse direction. We have also implemented 3 types of state validity checkers for obstacle avoidance. We check the next waypoint, we do the waypoint segmentation and then we check each neighbor in the hybrid A star and we open a window of 0.6 meters in diameter to check for obstacles. As a motion controller we are using an external package tracking PID. This is our software implementation in ROCKS. We have three nodes, Optomap Server, Frontier Exploration and Tracking PID Controller. These are the simulation results in Gazebo environment. On the left side, you can see our own custom implementation of Hybrid A-Star. And on the right side, it is a very famous package of Hybrid A-Star with read shapes curve. The video on the right is to speed it up, but our custom implementation of Hybrid A-Star on the left is exploring the environment much faster. This is an environment that we have created for the testing of the real robot. On the left you can see the robot running in this controlled environment and it is trying to map the whole environment. And on the right we have an uncontrolled environment and the robot is set free and it is trying to explore the whole university building. It will go through the halls and it will try to map everything that it can see. The robot should stop when there are no more centroids left. Thank you.